Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss your GPSTR 2022 question paper. I am going to discuss the full question paper, the one mark questions and all the descriptive questions as well. I have made two parts of this lecture. Okay. So this is the first part of the lecture. First of all, before starting the video, I would like to congratulate many of you. In fact, all of you because I am getting very positive response from all the subscribers and who all have watched my videos of GPSTR 2022 science classes. Most of you all are very happy and I am happy that you all are happy with the preparation and I am glad that my videos of the science classes helped you a lot. And the question paper was also such that if anyone would have attended my classes, then he or she would have surely written the exam very well. Many of the questions were the expected questions which I have discussed in my videos. Okay, let's start solving this question paper. First question was odometer in vehicles measures, it measures distance traveled. Okay. The next question is weight of an object on the earth is 10 newtons. Weight of the same object on the moon is. See so this question whoever has attended my class will just tell in a second. Moon's gravity is 1 by 6th of earth's gravity remember. So the result will be 10 upon 6 which will be equal to 1.66 newton. Or approximately equal to 1.67 newton. Next question. Physical quantity do not have a SI unit is. Even I taught this also in my one of my classes that is the density, relative density. It will not have SI unit because it will be equal to some density upon some density. So the units of the both densities will get cancelled. Therefore, it will not have SI unit. The next question, when 0.5 ampere of electric current flows through a filament of an electric bulb for 10 minutes, the quantity of charges that flows through the filament is. So, we have discussed this concept also. The charge flowing through a conductor was equal to the product of current and time. Here current I is given it is 0.5 amperes and time is given as 10 minutes. So, that 10 minutes should be converted into seconds that will be equal to 10 into 60 seconds that is 600 seconds. So, the quantity of charges that will flow through the filament will be 300 coulombs. So, option 2 is the right answer. Next question is the number of oscillations per second with respect to the wave motion is of course the first video itself the sound which I had made that will tell you that the answer is frequency. Next question one horsepower when expressed in watt is equal to of course it will be 746 watts then the refractive index of diamond is of course we have discussed this also in one of our videos it will be 2.42. Then part of human eye where image of an object is formed is the answer will be retina. Next question. This is like a sort of GK question. Kalpakkam nuclear power plant is situated in the state of. See if you don't know the answer of this question also by seeing the name of the place anyone can just guess the name of the state right. It should be Tamil Nadu. Okay. Kalpakkam nuclear power plant is situated in Tamil Nadu. Next question. The successive members of homologous series of carbon compounds differ by it will be CH2. Then the valency of phosphorus in the compound phosphorus pentoxide it is P2O5. So oxygen is 5 here isn't it there are 5 atoms of oxygen. Why there are 5 atoms of oxygen because the valency of phosphorus will be 5. Next question lustrous non-metal is among these 4 the lustrous non-metal is iodine. Next question, number of atoms present in 11 gram of carbon dioxide. We did this type of numericals in our chemistry class also. Here we find first the molecular mass of carbon dioxide. We see that there are two atoms of oxygen. That's why we multiply 2 with the atomic number 16 of oxygen. Then we get the mass of car carbon dioxide as 11 grams. Then again to find the number of moles of carbon dioxide, we divide the mass of carbon dioxide by the molecular mass of carbon dioxide. That is 11 by 44. So we get the answer number of molecules will be equal to 1.505 into 10 raised to 23. So this answer is not mentioned anywhere here in the options. I am sure that you will be getting the grace marks. Okay. After they release the provisional key, if they are giving you a chance, please raise the objection. You will surely get the grace marks for this question. Next question is acidic salt among the given compounds is 
acidic salt will be NH4Cl. Next question is mixture of iodine and sand is separated by the method of sublimation. Next question is reaction of sulfuric acid with potassium hydroxide. Which reaction is this? It will be a displacement reaction. So the next question is chemical formula of aluminium sulfide is Al2S3. Next question, the correct pair with respect to the tissues is, it should be simple permanent tissue parenchyma. Next, the structure that helps for movement in Abiba is, of course it is false legs, right, that is pseudopodia. Then the correct sequence of binary fission in Lishmania is, the binary fission sequence if you see from the figure, it will be P, R, S and Q. Okay, then the non-renewable source among the following is, of course, it should be petroleum. The decomposer is, remember in our biology class, we talked a lot about decomposers, right? So, the decomposer here, it will be fungi. The basic unit of classification of organisms, this question also came from our biology class. We had only one biology class, right? So, many questions came from that class also. The basic unit of classification of organisms, it will be species. The next question, the parts of a flower that produces male and female gametes respectively are, it should be ovary. Wherever ovary is there, you can tick that option. Here it is only one that is stamen and ovary. Next is the outermost rigid structure that surrounds the plant cell. Of course, it should be cell wall, right? Next question, this, these are the maths questions. The product of 2 plus square root of 3 and 2 minus square root of 3. This is a simple maths here. You have to multiply those two equations, 2 plus square root of 3 and 2 minus square root of 3. It is like a plus b into a minus b. a plus b into a minus b will be equal to a square minus b square. Here a is 2, b is square root of 3. That's why you take 2 square minus square root of 3 whole square. Square root of 3 whole square becomes 3 and 2 square becomes 4. So 4 minus 3 will be 1. Your option 2 will be the right answer. Next question, the empirical relationship between three measures of central tendency, it is a two mean will be equal to three median minus mode. Here in this option, nothing of this sort is there, right? So, if you, if you observe carefully, you will find that option three is the right answer because three median is equal to two mean plus mode is given. This can be rewritten, right? Two mean is equal to three median minus mode can be rewritten as 3 median is equal to 2 mean plus mode. So, option 3 is the right answer. Next, question number 28. The common difference of an arithmetic progression when its nth term is a n is equal to 2 n plus 3 is. This you have to solve. You know that in arithmetic progression, the common difference is given by a n plus 1 minus a n. For a n plus 1, put n is equal to n plus 3. You get 2 n plus 5. And then you subtract a n from a n plus 1. You get 2n plus 5 minus of 2n plus 3. 2n will get cancelled. 5 minus 3 will become 2. So, your option 1 will be the right answer. Next question. The probability of getting an even numbers when a dice of 6 faces is rolled once is. Here, number of even numbers on a dice will be equal to 3. Okay. What are they? 2, 4 and 6. Now, what will be the total number of possible outcomes? It will be 6, right? So, for getting the probability, you have to take the ratio of number of even numbers upon total number of possible outcomes here. So, it will be 3 by 6. So, your option 3, 1 by 2 will be the right answer. Next question. The HCF of any two consecutive positive even numbers is always. See, you have to solve here. Let those two numbers be 2B and 2B plus 2 because they are talking about two consecutive positive numbers, right? So, 2B and 2B plus 2. Then you solve for them. When you solve, you will get the HCF as 2. So, option 1, it will be the right answer. 31st question. It is really simple. The ratio of 2 kilometer and 400 meter is. See, kilometer, you convert it in meters. 2 kilometers will become 2000 meters. You take the ratio of 2000 meters and 400 meters. You will get 5 is to 1. So, option 4 will be the right answer. Next question. Ascending order of the fractions 2 upon 3, 3 upon 7 and 1 upon 4 is. See, best method I find easier is just to convert them into decimals. 
Once you convert them into de decimals, then you can arrange them in whatever order they are asked. They have asked in ascending order. Ascending order means when the numbers are arranged from smallest to largest number, arrange them. So your option 4 will be the right answer. Next question. The value of k when the pair of linear equations in two variables 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 and 4x plus ky is equal to 10 have infinitely many solutions is. See here, this is a question from system of equations. These equations are of the form of ax plus by is equal to c. Then for infinite solution, the condition will be a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Match the given equations with the a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. Find the values of a1, b1, c1. Okay, the way here we have done. Then you substitute the values. One of the value is k here. Here it is b2. b2 is k. So you find b2 that is k. Here if you solve this infinite solution, you will get the value of k as 6. So your option 2 will be the right answer. Next question. The value of x raised to a minus b into x raised to b minus c into x raised to c minus a is. It is really simple, right? It is laws of indices. It will be just you have to add the powers because the bases are same. x to the power you add all them. You get x to the power 0. But what is x to the power 0? Anything to the power of 0 will be 1. So, option 2 will be the right answer. Next question. The sum of 5 plus square root of 3 whole square and 5 minus square root of 3 whole square is. So, here what you do? You can see that a plus b whole square. This is in the form. 5 plus square root of 3 whole square is in the form a plus b whole square. And 5 minus square root of 3 whole square is in the form a minus b whole square. You know their formula. Now, just you use these uh, identities and you solve for both. After that you add those answers. When you add those answers, you will get 56 as the answer. Option 1 will be the right answer. Next question. The quotient obtained when a polynomial x cube minus 27 is divided by x square plus 3x plus 9 is. You know the answer will be x minus 3 because you have to divide. You take this x cube minus 27 and you write it like this x cube plus 0 into x square plus 0 into x minus 27. It is nothing but x cube minus 27, right? Then you can easily divide this equation. Then you get that quotient as x minus 3 because your remainder will be 0. Next question. One of the root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is reciprocal of the other only when the condition will be a is equal to c, okay? Next question. The ratio of areas of two triangles obtained when the median divides the given triangle is. See actually the median of a triangle it will divide the two triangles of equal areas. Equal areas means whatever the area will be. You take the ratio of those two areas. The ratio will come out to be 1 is to 1. So option 4 will be the right answer. Next the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube when a plus b plus c is equal to 0 is. You know this formula, right? a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. Now we know that a plus b plus c is equal to 0. This is given, right? That's why your entire of right hand side will become 0. And in left hand side, you need to keep a cube plus b cube plus c cube because the value you are finding is for that only, right? Then minus 3abc will go on the right hand side and your answer will become plus 3abc. So option 2 will be the right answer. Next question. In the given figure, PS intersects AB which is parallel to CD. Then the measure of angle AQP is. See, just by seeing the figure, you know that there are many theorems, right? They are theorems which we have studied in 9th and 10th standard. If there are two parallel lines and if one line is intersecting it, we call it transversal. Then there are some rules, right? They, we call them alternate angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, vertical angles are equal, right? Here I am using this corresponding angles. Because of corresponding angles, angle PQB will be equal to angle QRD, which is equal to 2x plus 15 degree. Now we know that sum of the angles of a straight line is 180 degree. So I am adding these two angles, 5x minus 10 plus 2x plus 15. So I get the answer x is equal to 25 degree. Option 1 will be the right answer. Next question. The sum and product of two numbers are 8 and 15 respectively. The sum of the squares of these numbers is, see they have given this x plus y is equal to 8 and x into y is equal to 15. Now I use this data and I find the answer which will come out to be 34. But how did I get it? 
it will be like this. I will take x plus y is equal to 8 and I will square both sides. So that I apply a plus b whole square formula. Okay. And then again when 2xy comes, I substitute xy is equal to 15. Because they have given that the product of two numbers is 15, right? Then again I solve for it. In the last step, I get x square plus y square is equal to 34. That is what they have asked, the sum of the squares of these numbers. So, 34 will be the right answer. Next question. In the given figure, angle OAB is equal to 25 degree. The measure of angle AQB is. They have given that one angle OAB is 25 degree. But see here, OA and OB, these both are radii of the same circle, right? So, they will be same. And there is one theorem which says that the if the sides are equal, then their opposite angles will also be equal, right? So, here angle OAB and angle OBA, both will be 25 degree. Now, we know that some of the angles of a triangle are 180 degree. So, in this triangle AOB, angle AOB plus angle OAB plus angle OBA will be equal to 180 degree. Among this, these two angles are equal to 25 degree. I put them, I substituted. Then I get angle AOB is equal to 130 degree. Now, once I get this angle AOB, there is one more theorem which states that the angle which is at the center, it will be equal to twice the angle subtended at the circumference. That's why angle AOB will be equal to 2 times angle AQB or angle AQB will be equal to 130 upon 2, 65 degree will be the right answer. Okay. Next question. In the given figure ABC and D are 4 points on a circle. AC and BD intersects at a point E such that angle BEC is equal to 130 degree and angle ECD is equal to 20 degree. The measure of angle BAC is we have to find angle BAC. Here see there is the one condition which says that if there is the same segment then angles on the same segment they will be equal. Therefore angle BAC will be equal to angle BDC. Correct? And then angle BEC plus angle CED will be equal to 180 degree because BED it is a straight line right with this I get angle CED now I can substitute I have two angles right so in this triangle EDC I have two angles right now I can find the third angle which is BDC substitute the values and find it it will be 110 degree next question the area of a rhombus when its diagonals are 10 centimeter and 8 centimeter is you know that area of rhombus is equals to half into d1 into d2 where d1 and d2 are the diagonals of the rhombus. Substitute their values and find the answer. Area will be equal to 40 cm square. Option 4 will be the right answer. Next question. This slant height and height of a right circular cone are 13 cm and 12 cm respectively. The diameter of its base is. Here you know that the volume of the cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. Then you substitute all these values, then you get that the radius is equal to 5 cm. But then they are asking you the diameter, right? The diameter will be equal to twice the radius. That's why 10 cm will be the right answer. Next question is the distance of a point 6, 8 from x axis is. You apply the distance formula, substitute the values. Okay. But here what you do, you put x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 0. You will get the distance as 10 units. Okay. Next See, those were the MCQs. There are few more questions which were depending on those teaching concepts. I am scared because I am not an expert in that field. I don't want to give you wrong answers. That's why I have not included those questions. Okay. Now, these are the descriptive questions. Two mark questions. First question is, if the volume of a right circular cone of height 9 cm is 48 pi cm cube, find the diameter of its base. You know that the volume is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h for the right circular cone. You substitute the values. Then you get the diameter. That's it. Okay. It will be 8 centimeter. Next question. The 17th term of an arithmetic progression is 7 more than the 10th term. Find its common difference. 7 more than the 10th term. That's why a17 minus a10 will be equal to 7. Okay. Now you put the common difference condition. It will be a n plus 1 minus a n, right? Here that a n plus 1 will be a plus 16 d. And then a n will be a plus 9 d. Then solve for d. You will get common difference is equal to 1. I think uh, the video will become too long. That's why I will stop here. I will post the second video as soon as possible. I will try to finish the question paper there. All those questions will be descriptive questions. Okay then. Bye.